Hello, my name is Shayna. I'm a children's librarian at LA County Library, and I'm accredited to provide positive parenting program. Today's parenting tip is lesson 10, give clear, reasonable instructions. How to give instructions? Make sure the instruction is not too vague, such as, can you get ready or stop being silly? In these contexts, you don't even know as a viewer what I'm talking about and maybe your child has a little bit more clue by what you've been talking about before but it's still it's still not a clear instruction can you get ready might be referring to um, hey the child needs to go to their grandparents house and they need to pack their clothes and toiletries but if you didn't say can you pack your toys and toiletries and be ready in 10 minutes, then it's not a very clear instruction. Make sure the instruction is not too detailed. Please put on your underwear, pants, shirt, socks, and shoes, especially if it's said really fast like that. Um, for a young child, that's a lot of steps. It's really hard to remember. Um, for an older child, it would be probably a, a different instruction, but still layering that many instructions is a lot to remember. Consider if what you're asking is age appropriate for your child. Carry this full hamper upstairs. So this is a clear instruction. It says everything we need in it, but it's not reasonable if you're asking a small child to do it. So that goes back to our lesson nine. You can review that one to learn more about um, reasonable expectations. How to give instructions. When children don't follow instructions, it might be because of these reasons. And if you are getting frustrated that a child did not follow instructions, take a moment and go over these few things. Maybe the wording was confusing. You understood what you meant, but your child didn't. Such as, get my keys, please. And, um, your child goes and walks around the house and brings back um, the key to the bike lock or whatever. So it didn't explain which keys or they couldn't find them because they had no idea what you're talking about. And then you get frustrated at them for, why are you taking so long? I asked you to get my keys and we have to go. But you knew what you meant. Your child didn't know what you meant and that's not their fault. So instead, uh, give clear two or three step instruction. That will help you to make sure that you are giving clear, reasonable um, instructions. So in this case, the two or three step for get my keys could be, bring me my purse from the couch, please. And then you know exactly which pocket that the keys are in. You don't have to ask them um, further two detailed steps that says, go to the couch, open the purse on the, not the biggest pocket, but the pocket that's inside of there and a little bit smaller. And then the keys should be on a green ribbon. Like that's too much. So think about if you are giving something clear and reasonable for your kid to be able to follow. We hope you have enjoyed positive parenting tips. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now.